It's Monday, and that means it's time to talk Lovecraft Country. This is the story of a boy and his dream. But more than that, it is the story of an American boy in a dream that is truly American. Hi everyone, I'm Brian Graves for Fans Be Like, your source for the things you love the most. Now before we begin, I just want to say one thing. Previous two episodes of this, I've just been encouraging you to watch the show. It's a great show. You should be watching. From here on out, we want to get a little bit more detailed. We want to actually talk about the show. So there are going to be spoilers, because we're actually going to talk about the show. So if you haven't watched the show yet, why are you watching me, first of all? Second of all, go watch the show. There's three episodes. It's going to take you a minute. I'll wait. probably do a time lapse. It's like over three hours. So did you do it? You watched all three episodes? They're great, right? This show is so freaking good. I'm loving this show. Who saw a Haunted House episode coming, right? I know, Brian. Hey, come on, it was in the preview. Yeah, but if you didn't watch the preview, you wouldn't know that it was going to be a Haunted House episode. I didn't. I assumed we would be moving on to deal with the aftermath of episode two, where my favorite character, Uncle George, died. I told you there would be spoilers. All right, so we're not really doing that. What we're doing instead is moving forward several weeks. It's past the funeral. The family's trying to deal with this loss uh, and all of a sudden Letty has money to buy a house where did that come from um, and uh, you know she buys this creepy old house it's filled with ghosts probably something that the realtor should have mentioned but you know we figure out why not later and where the money came from later uh, but you know burning questions in my mind as the episode started so she fills the house with people that I assume are going to be fodder for our poltergeist or ghost or malignant spirit or whatever we're dealing with. And I love that's not exactly what happened. I mean, as soon as our actual victim showed up, I knew. Like, I was like, oh, these three guys, they're toast. And I enjoyed watching them, you know, get taken out. Wasn't really the point of the episode. But I did enjoy that, true to horror fashion, we punish the wicked. Right? I mean, that's always been kind of the, the lesson of horror films since back in the day. Oh, oh, we shouldn't have teenage sex. So as soon as the teenagers have sex, we got to kill them. That's when the knife comes up through the bed. This is the same sort of thing. It's, a you know, horror is often a morality tale. And uh, just like the previous episodes, even though we're dealing in 1950s segregated America, these themes, the things that we're dealing with, feel strangely relevant, don't they? All right. Uh... We also got into a little bit about, uh, you know, the illegal experimentation on black bodies. Also a thing that, uh, very uh, disturbing. I mean, those ghosts were gross. They were very freaky. I mean, I, I, what would be the last time I saw a ghost kind of composed like that? Maybe 13 ghosts with the experimentations? But these were creepier. These were really gross. Um, especially the, what, baby head or whatever they call them? Creepy as hell. Uh, I, I got goosebumps. And we got the big seance at the end where Journey Smollett killed it. That was fantastic. Now, I'm a fan of Journey Smollett ever since Underground. I thought she was great in that show. She's great in this show. But this episode really highlighted what an incredible actress she is. I mean, she filled those last moments of the seance with so much. I was really... Um, really gorgeous and, and challenging and, and heartfelt and beautiful and painful and I loved it I loved what they did with her now there's a lot of character progression that's going on in this episode as well we're getting a little bit more into Tig's relationship with his father um, I 
desperately miss Uncle George. I loved the the camaraderie of the three in the first two episodes. Looks like moving forward, we're going to see a new dynamic with um, Tig's father taking that slot that uh, Uncle George was filling. And, uh, you know, we'll see how that works out. Uncle George, for me, was this earthy nerd who brought a pathos and, and a real groundedness to this situation. And, and uh, Tig does that himself a little bit. And we'll see how this relationship with his father really plays out in this supernatural world. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing that, you know, how that, how that happens. Also, I, I'm looking forward to seeing how um, uh, everything plays out with Letty. And, um, uh, you know, she's been now exposed to this world. It's really freaking her out. She's trying to make uh, sense of it um, and how they continue this journey together. I mean, are we going to go out more into the world? Is this going to be something that's based here where in, in Chicago? Um, who knows? We'll wait and see. I'm really excited to see where this goes. All right, guys. What did you think? Episode three. I think we're launching into it uh, again, into a great show. Looking forward to hearing your thoughts. Post them down there in the comments. I will respond to them uh, as I can. And uh, I'm Brian Graves. This has been uh, Fans Be Like, talking about Lovecraft Country. Until next week. What if I told you that I could change your life forever? For us, it's a rat race to the finish.